Hi, welcome to Storytime with Mr. Ramirez. Today's story is by James Stevenson, There's Nothing to Do. It's never been this bad before, said Marianne. Oh, I can't stand another minute, said Louis. I think I'm going to scream, said Marianne. Me too, said Louis. Scream, said Grandpa. What seems to be the trouble? We're bored, Grandpa. There's nothing to do, said Marianne. A bit quiet around here, huh? said Grandpa. We hate being bored, said Louis. I know how it is, said Grandpa. I was once bored myself. You were, said Marianne. When was that, said Louis. Mm, I was about your age, said Grandpa. My little brother Wainwright and I were visiting our grandparents' farm. Inside the house, it was so still you could hear the dust settle. Outside, all day long, the cows kept yawning. The birds were so bored, they kept dozing off and falling out of the trees. Thump, thump, thump. One especially dull day, our grandparents went off to the market. Bye, dears. When we get back, we'll have lots of fun. Such as what? Oh, we might look for four-leaf clovers, or we might can prunes, or we might even sew a quilt. Wah! Want to go home? Wah! Oh, please. Wainwright started to cry. Don't cry, Wainy. We'll find something to do. How about another walk? Would you like to look at clouds, count flies, take a nap, have a glass of cold water? How's that sound? <laughs> That's not very nice, Wayne. Well, to look on the bright side, we only have five days, seven hours, and 27 minutes left here. Then we can go home. What do you think of that, Wayne? Wayne! Wayne was on top of the windmill. Wayne, get down! Don't want to! I'll give you some ice cream. Ice cream? Strawberry ice cream. Okay. Oh no. Wayne landed in a wagon full of hay. So was he all right? Well, not exactly. The wagon started rolling down, rolling downhill. He went farther and farther. I tried to catch up, but I couldn't. The wagon hit a fence. Crash! Was Wayne okay, Grandpa? No. Wayne went flying into an enormous cornfield, crunch, and disappeared. Wayne! I went looking for him. Wayne! 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 Wayne, 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 Wayne. I searched for hours. When I finally sat down to rest, I heard something coming. Crunch, crash, snap. It was Wayne riding a pig. Wayne, get off that pig right now. Do I get ice cream? Okay. Zzz, I see a pig. Zzz. Will you look at that? Zzz. 
Let's go for it. Wow, a big pig. Zzz, what a porker. Just then a bunch of bees arrived and stung the bee. Zzz, oink. Oink, oink. The pig took off with Wayne. He's still on board. Oink, oink, wah. You weren't bored anymore, Grandpa. Well, not, not at that exact moment. I followed the pig's trail through the barn. I heard a great splash, splash. The pig had landed in the horse trough. But where, where was Wayne? Meh, <laughs> dry the hen house. Thank you. Is Wayne here? Ah, what's a Wayne? Wayne! So every so so everything was all right, uh, Grandpa. Mm, not quite. Suddenly, I was pulled backward, farther and farther, and I lost my grip. Wayne was gone. Hey, give me back my brother! A large mole had grabbed Wayne. The mole went into a hole. Wayne, are you all right? <laughs> I could see the trail and hear Wayne's voice. I dived in after Wayne and the mole. Wee -wee! Woo -woo! And chased them. I'm coming, Wayne! Hurry! Sleep, flush, thump, push, thump. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm sorry. Oh, gross. Sloop, slip, sloof, eh? Who, who, who stepped on me? Hey, who stepped on me? <laughs> Did it get lighter after a while, Grandpa? No, darker and slimier. Then something brushed against my face. It was a firefly. What are you doing in here? What are you doing down here? I'm trying to get my little brother back from the big, that big mole. Well, zzz, good luck. That mole is a pain. Hey, gang, let's help this kid. Okay. 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 Ready? Zzz, one. Zzz, two, three, light! Zzz, go get him, kid! Thanks very much! That's the one that stepped on me! Me too! Watch out! Did you catch up with Wayne and the mole, Grandpa? Well, I got pretty close. Then all of a sudden, I saw Wayne and the mole running towards me. Ah, it was a mistake, an honest error. No peace, no privacy. We're sick of you moles burrowing into our burrow. You wouldn't believe the mess those moles make. Throw dirt all over the place, no consideration. Always a past. We try to keep a nice burrow. I followed them out of the tunnel. Just stay out of our burrow. Go dig somewhere else. Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did I know? It was dark. <laughs> What's the matter, Wayne? Are you hurt? No, I want ice cream. Did Wayne get some ice cream? Oh, yes. And then things got dull again? Mm, not exactly. We went on the porch to have our ice cream. Just then, the sky got dark and we heard a roaring sound. Here you are, Wayne. What's happening? It's a twister. We were lifted out of our chairs and our ice cream blew away. 
The twister carried us right through the house. It whirled us all around. Suddenly, the twister was gone. Wayne and I fell through the sky. Sounds sort of dangerous, Grandpa. It could have been, but... Did you feel something just then? Probably just a bump in the road. Dump, dump. Fortunately, we landed in the back seat of Grandpa's wagon. Well, look who came to meet us. I hope you weren't bored while we were in town. Mm, not really. Now we'll have some fun. Let's sew that quilt. What about the ice cream, Grandpa? Did you and Wayne ever find it? Well, my goodness. Did somebody say ice cream? Hi, Uncle Wayne. Hello, Wayne. You got here just in time. What's new, Wayne? Ah, uh, nothing much. In fact, it's a little boring over at my house. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story. I sure did. Come back and visit me at Storytime with Mr. Ramirez. See you next time.